Number 10 Old City The Old City historic neighborhood in Knoxville is among the most fascinating areas in town to stroll around. During the day, you can stroll past stunning buildings to get a sense of the city's rich history and diverse culture, especially near the intersection of the Central Street and Jackson Avenue. Number 9 Sun Sphere An enormous geodesic sphere was built for Knoxville's 1982 hosting of the World Sphere. The golden ball, also known as the Sun Sphere, is mounted on a tower and rises 266 feet above the surface of the Earth. Only other fair related development is still standing, but the Sun Sphere is still a well liked attraction some 40 years later. Number 8 James White Fort James White was given a land grant of 1,000 acres in recognition of his contributions during the Revolutionary War. Then he set out on a search mission to locate the location that would ultimately become Knoxville, which would later become the capital of then Southwest Territory. James White Fort's two stories were constructed in 1786. Number 7 Neyland Stadium The University of Tennessee is located in Knoxville and on any given Saturday in this autumn, Neyland Stadium will be packed with supporters of the Tennessee Volunteers. With a capacity of 102,000, the stadium is one of the biggest in the country. Neyland Stadium, a college football monument, was given its name in honor of legendary coach Robert Neyland, whose statue is currently located at the west entrance. Number 6. Zoo Knoxville Zoo Knoxville is a fantastic place for a family outing and is home to over 900 different species of animals from all over the world. The zoo has produced more red pandas than any other facility in the world with over 100 births. Number 5. Knoxville Museum of Art The Knoxville Museum of Art is devoted to showcasing the magnificent native talent while also honoring East Tennessee art and the artists that created it. The choice of ongoing and passing exhibitions highlights the creatives who have made Knoxville and Eastern Tennessee their home. Number 4. Tennessee Theatre When it opened in 1928, the historic Tennessee Theatre was immediately adored by the locals. A stunning front and an intricate interior with ornate check chandeliers, a traditional terrazzo floor and intricate curtains are found in the magnificent example of Spanish Moorish architecture. Number 3. World's Fair Park the previous Knoxville Fairgrounds hosted the World's Fair in 1982. The area has been known as World's Fair Park ever since and it is still a great site to bring a date or spend the day with the family. The Sun's Fair and the Tennessee Amphitheater, two remnants of the renowned fair are still present in the public park. Number 2. Ijams Nature Center Residents of Knoxville have been visiting the vast animal preserve for more than a century. Harry Ijams, who had a vision for a bird sanctuary, founded the center. It has evolved into a comprehensive reserve with an environmental learning center over time. Number 1. Market Square A section of Knoxville that would later become the city's cultural center was established in the 1860s. A historic outdoor center called Market Square is surrounded by eateries, cafes, boutique stores and bars. Both locals and tourists are drawn to the square which also excludes a festive atmosphere.